Hey guys, today we are going to do a June hamster cage tour, and here's the cage. I didn't make a theme yet, but this is Nutmegs. I'm going to do Frosty soon, but let's get started on the cage thing. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the first floor. So on the first floor, when you open the cage, we have his food bowl, which I'm going to refill soon. It's out and it says yum on the bottom. It's really cute. I got it at the MSPCA and it is by Pet Rage Us Designs Yummy Time. Two ounces small. Then he doesn't use this, but we have um it's this little wheelbarrow type thing. And it has a ball on the inside, and they're supposed to kind of like get into the ball. This belonged to my dwarf hamsters when I had them. But they're supposed to get to the ball and you can roll it. Next, we have this little snack shack log, and he doesn't really chew on it. He mainly just goes inside of it. He sleeps more. Oh, hi, Nutty, 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 Nutty. Hi, bud. There he is. There he is. Okay, then we have his igloo, which is blue, and then you have him. Hi, bud. And as it goes blue, it's by Petco. Here, let me give you some cute hammy. Hi, bud. Hi, buddy. Do you mind if I record you for a second? Oops. Leave it like that. Okay, I'm sorry, back to the actual cage tour. Then you have his Petco brand water bottle. I'm just gonna keep it outside the cage. And um, it's, he drank a little bit of it. And it's inside this water bottle guard so that it doesn't fall off. But then you have his little pineapple. He sits and swims in it and he dug a hole in it. He decided he needed more space. And actually that one used to belong to my dwarf hamsters too and they chewed on it too. They made a hole. So yeah, he chewed on it, he made a hole, he made it bigger. It was actually just you know, like, if you can see, this little piece of fabric here. It was about like that big, and then he chewed past it, and he made it that big, and then he poops in it too. But then he has his wheel, and this is the eight and a half inch comfort wheel. The six inch is too small, and the eight and a half inch is just the right size. You can get the 11 or 12 inch. But it's too, it would be pretty big. Moving on to the top floor, we have this seesaw. And um, it's a chewable seesaw. He can chew on it, but he can chip on it too. Frosty has one too. Frosty has one of these seesaws. He likes it. Then we have a wheel he can just sit on. He doesn't really use it. He just like pees on it sometimes. But this is called the Knot Nibbler. I think there's a nut in here. There's supposed to be a nut in there. Actually, I don't think there's a nut in there, but there was supposed to be a nut in there. This is his chewed corn husk toy. He has a chewed husk thing down there. His chewed treat stick and a bendy bridge, which I just like to keep like this. Let me have another extra food bowl. I'm going to refill his food soon. Uh, oh! Yeah. He has a third place ribbon from the Petco Hipster Derby. And then he has this little tooth thing. So I hope you enjoyed my June Cage tour. Drop a like and subscribe. It doesn't cost any money. And comment down below what you want to see next. Bye.